What's up, everybody? It's Coach Kev, LSU star. Angel Reese has been suspended from the team. The saga continues. People are speculating that she was suspended because of her grades. Others are speculating that she has turned, quote, unquote, Hollywood. She has let the stardom get to her head. Stephen A. Smith has thoughts on the situation, and I agree wholeheartedly with his position. So LSU, your star, Angel Reese, are you not playing because the basketball skills and you're not focusing on getting better on the court? Or are the issues with you bigger than basketball? Let's talk about it. Let me move on to a more serious subject, all games aside, because I need to get up and talk about something in a second. LSU star Angel Reese. She did not travel with her team for this 73-50 to victory over southeastern Louisiana on Friday. If you remember three days earlier, she had gotten benched against Kent State, okay? Prior to missing that game, you know, she was benched in the second half of the Lady Tigers, comfortable 109-79, went over Kent State. Coach Kim Mulkey refused to answer questions on the matter when asked about it, by the way. Look at this. You want me to explain why? It's very obvious Angel was not in uniform. Angel is a part of this basketball team, and we hope we see her sooner than later. Does that mean it was her decision? I'm not, I'm not going to answer anymore. That's it. That's all y'all need to know. Okay? Actually, that is not more we need to know. The days of amateurism are over. You see, these players get paid now, albeit not by the university, so I don't agree with Coach Mulkey about that. So the issue is they are getting paid. So I agree with Stephen A. Smith. So they're looked upon as now professionals. The professionals have been dealing with this, the Kyrie Irving saga that happened with the whole vaccination and all the stuff that he did, Russell Westbrook slander. They've been dealing with all this type of stuff. Now the college players are dealing with it. They got the NIL deals. They're getting paid millions of dollars. This is what comes with the territory. I do get a point. Remember, Angel Ruiz broke her silence on the matter, but did respond on the situation by tweeting out the fans this, please do not believe everything you read. That's what she said. In defense of Angel Reese, let me tell you why that's incredibly important. Because there were people out there throwing out rumors that there was problems in the classroom. That's bullshit. First of all, we don't know that to be true, but the reason why I say it's BS and I call BS on it is because if she had academic issues, you knew that before halftime of Kent State. So why would you bench at halftime, okay, for the second half of the game, but let her play the first half if it was an academic issue? Clearly, that's not what's going on here. Please don't believe everything you read. So there we go. Two sides of the story. There's the truth, there's the lie, and there's... What's in between? So this is what Angel Reese is saying. <sighs> you get paid the big bucks now. You got to take the good with the bad. She's saying don't believe what you read. So we are just got to speculate. That's what we got to do, speculate. I'm speculating. I do not know. But it's time that I sit up there, that I stood here rather, and just gave a closing comment about Angel Reese. I want you to know something, Angel Reese, and this message is directly for you. You are an absolutely wonderful, marvelous, young black lady. You made us proud last year. You continue to make us proud even now. You're a national champion. You're a first team All-American. You went six straight games in the NCAA tournament, averaging a double-double. You did it all. And then look at how it paid off for you. You see all of these photos that I'm showing up here, throwing out the first pitch for the Baltimore Orioles? You know, showing up everywhere, being a woman about town because that's what champions do. Let's not forget the NAL valuations. You made about 1.7 million, okay? 1.7 million. So look, even big shows, big time people, Stephen A. Smith, speaking on women's basketball, this may not be the quote unquote positive aspects of women's basketball, but it's still being talked about this is what they wanted. This is what we want. We want to hear about this. We want to see these players. They're, nobody's perfect. Nobody's saying Angel is perfect. 
but this is going to be talked about. And just to give it the, some stats out there for everybody to watch, let's go down the list of the top-notch individuals in the world of name, image, and likeness and who profited off of it. You got Bronny James, LeBron's son at $5.9 million. You got Shador Sanders, primetime Deion Sanders' son, the star quarterback at Colorado at $4.5 million. Okay, you've got this girl, Livy, at $3.3 million. Livy Dunn from LSU, she's a gymnast at $3.3 million. Arch Manning, okay, one of the, a member of the Manning family, now a quarterback at Texas, tied with Caleb Williams of USC at fourth at $2.8 million. You got Travis Hunt at the sixth spot at $2.2 million. And then you got Angel Reese at $1.7 million. These kids are getting paid. Show me the money! Dollars. That is what she earned with name, image, and likeness. So couple that with the 5.2 million social media followers that she has. Look at all the brand deals that she has. Coach, Amazon merch, McDonald's, Sparkling Ice, Xfinity, Outback Steakhouse, Discord. These are all the deals she has while she's a college student. Well, here's, an, uh, here's the problem with that. And Angel Reese, I hope you're listening to this. Notice that your popularity and your celebrity is elevated. So much so that you decided not to go to class anymore on campus. You'll take your courses online because the popularity was so extreme, it was getting in the way of your studies. That's basically what you told folks. Having said all of that, if it got in the way of your studies, I ask a simple and respectable question. What else did it get in the way of? Mm. Why would the coach of a reigning defending national champion who you helped win the national championship? Remember when you was throwing up your finger to Caitlin Clark at Iowa in the national championship game? Remember when you were doing all of that? Remember when you were the woman about town thereafter? Whether, remember when you was wearing that braggadocio on your sleeve? Remember all of that? That's what I'm saying. So all that happened when she was doing that throwing out the finger talking trash to Caitlin Clark. We praised it. Let's go. I was there too. I'm up front. I was there too. Praising it. Let's go. She's putting on a show. Big time player. But then when stuff like this happens, if a coach suspends you, for a coach to suspend you from the team, you have to be doing something wrong. There has to be something wrong for them to suspend you, especially one of their best players. So we can speculate that there's something going on with Angel Reese. So like Stephen A. Smith, we want to know, what is it? Well, we're all guessing what it is, but whatever it is, it's something, it's enough for you to get suspended. So I guess we could just go from there. Is it possible that because of the fame, the celebrity, and the newfound dollars that came into your coffers, that all of that changed and with it, there was a slight change in you. And the coach noticed and said, okay, I have to do something about this. We don't know. I certainly don't know. Don't cover LSU. But it's a worthy question to ask because I can't believe that the coach of a reigning defending national champion, knowing your greatness and how valuable you are to the success, to the overall success of the team and what your goals and aspirations are, would choose to make that decision about you. Is it possible that there's been some alterations in your attitude that forced the kind of things that have been transpiring over the last week. You getting benched and ultimately not showing up for another game. It's a worthy question to ask because you're only 21 years of age. The age is a beautiful point to make. We have grown adults who turn into overnight celebrities and they don't know how to act. They just switch it up. They just go at all the stardom, everything goes to their head and they just become bigger than everything out there. So you can only imagine this girl, 21 years old, turned into an overnight celebrity. You can't be mad at her for, I mean, I understand. I know you want her to be great. You want her to play basketball, focus on that. We all do. I understand that. But you can't be mad at that. Like, I wouldn't imagine if I was 21, I got $1.7 million, bro. I'd be in the club throwing the dollars up, throwing the dollars up, throwing the dollars up. Like, me too. Like, I, I can only imagine. I would hope and pray that I had the discipline and the people around me that surround me to, 
stay in my air and keep me focused on the task at hand. But with Angel, it seems like that's not what's going on right now. Hopefully it changes, but we'll see. It's entirely plausible and possible that you might have been smelling yourself just a little bit. And it's not a crime. And it doesn't make you wrong. And it doesn't make you a bad person. But the reason why these questions are justified in being asked is because Kim Mulkey, for better or worse, has always been Coach Mulkey. The same person that we see talking to the media, the same person that we see coaching on those sidelines, the same person that we saw win a championship last year is the same coach we've been watching for years. And I feel like that's a great transition to Kim. Coach Kim, this is her latest statements about the situation. So before I give you my thoughts, this is the latest statements about this Angel Reese situation. Coach Kim, it's on you. You always have to deal with locker room issues. That's just part of coaching. In 40 years, I can never think of a time where I didn't have to deal with issues. That's what coaches do. Sometimes y'all know about them and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you want to know more than you're entitled to know. I'm going to protect my players, always. They are more important. It's like a family, Scott. Let me ask you this. If you do some discipline of your own children, do you think we're entitled to know that? That's a family in that locker room. That's a family. And it really doesn't matter what I say to you guys. You're going to write and interpret things the way you want to. Some of you wrote some things that I never said. I never used some of the words that y'all wrote. You interpreted it the way you wanted to. Just write what I tell you. But this is no different. I've been doing this for 40 years. Those kids are like my children. And I'm not going to tell you what you don't need to know. And that's just the way I address things. I love that. And I guess you could look at it twofold that they're in the public eye, so they when the media and when people ask questions, they deserve the answers and things like that. But as a coach and me as a coach myself, I understand exactly where Coach Kim is coming from with that there's just some things people don't need to know. It's just personal matter. And honestly, she said it earlier in this uh, press conference. She said that maybe there's stuff that she don't even know that's what's going on. She can only interpret what she sees as well. So this is a very difficult situation. Like I said, the money, the amount of money that these kids are getting paid now is crazy. And you know what they say about getting money. Once you get a lot of money that you're not used to getting, that you get a lot of money, you know what they say, that getting money doesn't change you. It just brings out more of the attributes of who you really are. So hopefully that's not going on with Angel. Hopefully it's not. this is not an ongoing situation. Hopefully they somehow find a way to nip this in the bud. I just hope that the Hollywood, she has not turned into that and turned into a spectacle where basketball is now on the back burner. Now it's just more focused on the celebrity status. Get back in the gym, Angel. Do what you got to do. We're definitely rooting for you as a young black princess. Do your thing. You have all the skills. I've coached against Angel. I've seen her play in person when she was in a during AAU, and she is a certified born stud. She could... Do anything and everything that you want on that basketball court. So let me know from you guys in the comments below. What do you think about this whole situation about Angel getting suspended? Do you believe that this publicity, good, all publicity is good publicity? Do you feel like she's turned into a celebrity Hollywood that's too much that everything has just gone to her head? Or do you think that it might be stuff that just with that is just things going on bigger than basketball that she's just not able to deal with as a 21 year old kid let me know all your thoughts in the comments below you know how they say with great power comes great responsibility we got your back angel keep pushing through and keep focusing on what you need to do to get back on the court and i'm out peace